Okay, real quick, I'm gonna show you how to use my brand new tool, Swift Coloring Book Prompts. This will help you create those profitable coloring books and coloring page printables very fast. These are sought after online and you can host them on a ton of different free platforms to get that free buyer traffic and earn with them online. I've been doing this for the past two years and I can't wait to show you my new tool to help you do the same much, much faster. Okay, so before you'd have to type them out, these prompts, you'd have to store them somewhere, you'd have to edit them, you know, in, until you got the different niches and the different things you wanted. It was a, a really a, a time consuming process, a real pain in the butt. I have fixed this for you with my, with this tool. Again, I created this for me because I, I actually publish these different types of coloring books and coloring pages online to earn online. So I've created this to help me and hopefully this can help you. Very simple, we have the main character. This is the only part of the uh, software that you need to input. So let's put, uh, let's put a gnome, okay? And then in the situation here, this is optional, okay? So you can put a, a gnome near a river, near a river, and then select an art style. You have kawaii, which is cute. Japanese for cute. Stained glass is what you see right here. Pop art is another popular clip, uh, another popular coloring book style. Clip art, art nouveau, comic, anime, Indian madbu, madhubani, Ukiyo-e is another Japanese style, and Bohemian Minimalist is another one right here. These are all very popular coloring book art styles that you can create, okay, for your coloring book. Okay, so let's go with uh, a gnome stained glass, right, and I click generate, and I have these prompts saved right here. I just have to copy it, and then like I like I did earlier here, um, I, I put it on, I put it into my favorite um, image creator, and it created my uh, ready, perfectly unique AI coloring book page, right, right here. Okay, you can also change this up. Let's make, let's put it, let's put this uh, gnome in a church, in a church, like that. Click generate, and again, my last prompt was saved, and this new prompt is here. Okay, we can also change the foreground character. Let's put a, let's put a um, cow, a cow. And let's put them um, actually without any situation. And let's uh, make them kawaii. Click generate. And this is what I created here. Very, very good, very easy. And this again is a cool tool because it saves everything you created in the past. And let's say you're working on a particular niche, which I highly recommend you do if you're selling a coloring book online, that you focus on a niche. So let's, let's say it's a Bible coloring book niche for adults. Let's focus on Jesus. You're gonna have about 40 or 50 different Jesus prompts here. Of course, Jesus will be your main character. And you're gonna have your art style be stained glass. Your situation can be, well, different situations that Jesus was in. Let's say uh, near a river. Uh, let's put in uh, on a mount, on a hill, on the cross. Um, let me see, you know, what's another one? Uh, with his followers and just click enter and this is just saving all of these prompts here for you so when you start creating your book just click copy on the prompt you want to use and then apply it to whatever image creation software you use um, of course there's free and paid uh, image creation softwares out there uh, the paid ones usually perform better. That's, you know, that goes without saying, but the free ones are also pretty good. Just use my prompt. It was going to cut this time. It's going to cut the time to create these products in half, actually more so. You can create one in a couple of minutes now. So let me know what you think down below. If you want to get access to it, again, I have information down below for you and uh, be good. Take care.